Well, right, wrong, or indifferent, I'm gonna go try to chisel some corn ground today. Um, I went and finished chopping stalks this morning and that little field I got down in Indiana was actually relatively dry-ish, so I'm gonna go try to knock that out. It ain't gonna be a huge deal, but every little bit helps. Um, don't judge my parking job. There was a truck parked here when I pulled up to go over the chisel plow, so. Anyway, everything's greased up, fueled up, and ready to rock and roll, so. I guess we'll head on down there and see what kind of mess we can get into. Okay, let's get her off the locks. I had a bunch of people asking me why I was using the Oliver chisel plow on the bean ground and not just running the soil saver over everything to save from having to do all the switching around, which it's not a bunch of switching around. I, it's, it's literally one implement. You don't do it a bunch of damn times. But anyway, this is why. Right there. Um, firstly, you don't need the, discs, the, the disc holters to chisel bean ground. It's the stubbles. There's not enough fodder to deal with it, so that. And for corn stub, for burying corn stubble, I got these great big honking four inch cup twist shovels on this thing to be aggressive and get the get as much stubble buried as I can or mixed in as I can. And you don't need to be that aggressive with bean stubble. You wanna leave enough on top that you got a little bit of ground cover. And to mix it through the soil profile, you don't wanna bury all of it, so that's why i run the soil saver over corn ground and that's why i run the oliver to the plow or bean ground is i got two inch spikes on, on the oliver plow so that it's not very aggressive and basically it's just breaking the ground open and kind of mixing the beans or the bean fodder in a little bit where this thing is mixing that mixing that corn stubble in good and obviously you need the disc openers to get through the corn stubble and yes it's a disc chisel yes i still need to chop ahead of it because the one bit thing about this first series of soil saver the second generation like the i think they like the 4000 series soil savers the bigger the big heavy frame ones are completely different but this first generation of soil saver that came out in the late 70s early 80s isn't really a high clearance chisel plow and if the fodder gets tough it will still plug like a regular chisel plow so you run the chopper ahead of it it won't do that anymore um you, you get like a john deere 715 or a white 435 or a, a series 2 soil saver or a 4000 series they're taller and they got a longer frame for more trash clearance and you probably wouldn't have to chop ahead of or what i know you don't got to chop ahead of those but i like chopping anyway because corn fodder bean fodder wheat stubble it all goes into being part of the nitrogen cycle because um hold on let me get the camera um, set up here any kind of crop residue all goes into the nitrogen cycle because the microorganisms in the soil that break down crop residue use nitrogen as an energy source
corn stubble done. I'm actually impressed how well that worked down. That was that's that worked down really nice. I shouldn't say worked down, worked up. It's a little tacky, but nothing that fall plowing isn't all about. So that'll lay down real nice over winter. Every little bit I get done now is that much less I gotta try to do in the spring. But there's one little piece behind my grandma's house that I gotta drive past on the way back to the barn. I might just hit that to get it out of the way on the way home, so. Don't need no hitchhikers. So I guess we'll catch you guys at the next field, huh? All right, gonna knock this little two acres out of my grandma's and call her a day. I actually was thinking on the way up here about another field I could try and I went and looked at it and then uh -uh. it's not like super duper stupid wet but it that little bit of rain we got everything i'm actually surprised this field's as dry as it is but everything up here has just got a little like half inch layer of snot on top from that little tent we got yesterday and i'm not worried about working it as far as like the overall soil profile too wet but you got that little bit of snot on top it makes it hard to get traction and then you're just not doing a good job of plowing because
at GoPro to explain their battery logic to me. I'm standing there talking and then all of a sudden the little low battery alarm goes off and it saves the video and shuts the camera off. So I take the battery out, put it in my pocket for two rounds. All of a sudden I got 31% battery, so I make them two little video clips. This takes it back down to 28% battery. Put battery back in my pocket, finish up chiseling this field, and put the battery back in the camera to finish up here, and now I got 46% battery. GoPro things. It doesn't surprise me. I mean, it. my old, my Hero 3 was the exact same way, but you'd think between a 3 and a 7, GoPro would have figured their shit out. But anyway, I digress. Back to what I was saying. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, enough of the ground around here is just tacky enough on top or greasy enough on top to make it where you can't get any damn traction. And then if you can't get traction, you just can't do a good job of chisel plowing. I don't think the ground itself overall is too wet. It's just that little half inch on top making it greasy. So, but we have what appears to be a good week of weather ahead of us. Tomorrow's supposed to be sunny and breezy. Tuesday's supposed to be sunny and breezy. So give it a day of drying tomorrow and hopefully by tuesday we can kind of go at it without having to pick and choose what fields we go to although i got two fields with water standing in them that i don't know i probably end up just going around the wet holes because i want to get as much done before spring as i can and then we can just go back in the spring when the wet holes are dried out and chisel those and not have to worry about the whole field but there will be some spots that I know for sure I'm not going to be able to get done before winter just because there's three, four inches of water standing in them. But if if I can get going Tuesday, now that I got these two fields out of the way because these are the, well, the one is the furthest I got to travel to go to, that little one down in Indiana, and then this one is just small, so it's kind of a pain in the butt, and it's not really on the way to anything other than the barn. But if I can get going Tuesday, probably by Thursday afternoon, should be pretty much done chiseling corn ground. Other than the couple spots that I'm probably going to have to go around because there's water standing. So, so I got one, two, three, four. One, two, three four five i've only got five fields left to chisel and then maybe by friday the muck will be somewhat dry-ish enough to go down and possibly disc it but i'm not holding my breath that might have to wait till we get a, get a good freeze and get some of that water that's in it frozen because the ground itself won't freeze but the water will freeze and if the water freezes you're golden you should be able to get over it but the ground itself never actually freezes it's muck is unless you farm muck you, you it, i can't explain it you'd never understand it unless you actually have been on it before it's the weirdest damn dirt you'll ever farm in your life but man it'll grow some corn it'll grow some beans too but beans are very very maintenance intensive on muck because it's so damn wet that they're really subject to disease especially white mold and sudden death syndrome if it gets too wet for too long but uh anyway before the damn camera dies on me again may only got five and a half acres done today but it's five and a half more acres than what i had done this morning so progress is progress so Guess we're gonna run the tractor back to the barn and get ready to go over to my buddy's house and watch Yellowstone. So I guess that's it for this one and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Sorry it was kind of short, but I wasn't expecting to work ground at all today, so it's more than what you were gonna get.